10 years ago, most travellers may have been slightly uncomfortable at the prospect of staying in a stranger's home in a foreign city. Thanks to Airbnb and its hosts, millions of accommodations and thousands of activities have become available to everyone, and fully booked hotels need never be an issue. But how did such an alien idea become so mainstream? And now approaching its one billionth customer, how did Airbnb become the biggest hotel chain in the world? Here's how it happened. Airbnb's two founders, Joe Gebbia and Brian Chesky, met in Providence, while they were both studying at the Rhode Island School of Design. Following their graduations, Joe moved to San Francisco to design book covers at Chronicle Books, while Brian moved to Los Angeles to work as an industrial designer. Not happy with his job and seeking to find something new, Joe invited Brian to live with him in San Francisco to start their own business. Brian agreed, and the pair both quit their jobs. They just needed an idea. Unfortunately for the unemployed Brian and Joe, their landlord increased their weekly rent by 25% in late 2007. Joe noticed an ad for the upcoming industrial design conference in San Francisco, and the accompanying notice that read, Hotels Sold Out. They had a light bulb moment, and realised they had space in the living room of their apartment, as well as a few airbeds in their closet. They figured that if they even made breakfast for their guests, they would be offering a full hotel experience for just $80 a night. Joe enlisted the help of his former roommate, Nathan Blachasik, known as Nate, who held a computer science degree from Harvard, to build a website for their service, airbedandbreakfast.com. Soon enough, they received emails from as far afield as Brazil and Japan, all looking for a place to stay during the conference. The first ever guests arrived, and Airbnb was born. One of the next major events they targeted was the 2008 Democrat National Convention in Denver, Colorado, featuring presidential candidate Barack Obama. With roughly 100,000 people expected to attend, and only around 30,000 hotel rooms available, there was likely to be a shortage in accommodation. Joe and Brian flew to Denver, spoke to the residents, reached the local press, and managed to appear live on CNN, advertising their service. They received over 100 bookings, and suddenly, just one month after their initial launch, they had around 800 homes listed on their website for short-term stays. The team's next goal was to raise funding to expand their business. After receiving multiple rejections from Silicon Valley investors, they decided to capitalise on the buzz surrounding that year's presidential election. Their plan manifested itself in the form of breakfast cereal, bought from grocery stores and repackaged into their own custom design boxes, branded as Obama O's or Cap McCain's. They produced 500 limited edition copies of each box, for sale at $40 each. After the cost of production and marketing, they had $30,000 in capital, enough to keep Airbnb going for the time being. Back in Silicon Valley, they met with Paul Graham, the co-founder of startup accelerator program Y Combinator. Although Paul wasn't greatly impressed by the Airbnb strategy, he liked the innovation and enterprise involved in their serial project, and so invited them onto his program, from which they received $20,000. Using this cash injection, Airbnb was able to expand to include everything from entire homes all the way to igloos and private islands. They conducted their first round of funding from venture capital firms, raising $7.2 million from Greylock Partners and Sequoia Capital in late 2010. The service received its 1 millionth booking in February 2011, and its 10 millionth booking less than a year and a half later in June 2012. Airbnb currently has over 7 million homes listed on its website, across more than 100,000 cities. They've hosted 750 million travellers in their 12-year lifespan, and it shouldn't be long before they reach the 10-figure mark. And that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.